If you thought escaping to an isolated tropical island meant leaving the trappings of civilization behind, you were wrong. In this game, you have a trusty smartphone, which has many useful features. Your in-game phone can take photos, zoom in and out, and apply filters. Pictures in-game can be shared from your Switch's picture app to social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. Nook Miles. This section of your phone allows you to check your Nook Miles balance and receive rewards for completing challenges. The main menu lists long-term goals such as catching 500 fish. Press the plus button to access randomized Nook Miles challenges that are easier to complete, like selling 5,000 bells worth of goods or collecting 10 pieces of wood. When you complete a Nook Miles challenge, an icon will appear on your screen in the top left corner along with a sound cue to let you know that you have some Nook Miles to collect. DIY recipes. Now I did not get a video of this app on the phone, but this screen allows you to see which DIY recipes you've collected and whether or not you currently have the resources you need to craft them. You'll need a workbench to craft any recipes, but knowing that you're only a couple of pieces of wood short can save you the hassle of going to a workbench when you're missing some resources. Custom designs. This app allows you to draw and create your own custom patterns and designs to apply as skins to your furniture and clothing, and after Isabel is unlocked, even your island map. Critterpedia. This app organizes which bugs and fish you found, along with information about the species, such as their preferred habitats and what time of day and time of year you can catch them. An empty square means that you haven't yet discovered the species, bug, or fish for that slot yet. Bugs. There are 80 different bugs to catch, but watch out for tarantulas and scorpions. They are bugs that fight back, but they're worth catching. After you donate one to the museum, you can sell them for 8,000 bells. While we're on the subject of bugs, wasps. Wasp stings swell up your face something fierce. The swelling will go down with medicine that you can buy from Nook's Cranny or craft on a workbench. However, you can wait and the swelling will naturally go away the following day. Wasps nest drop from some trees when shaken and can be caught if you're quick. While shaken trees have your net equipped and after the nest drops, run away a few squares, then turn around and press A to catch them with your net. If you get the timing right, you'll avoid a nasty sing and add a new bug to your Critterpedia. The map. You probably won't need to consult your map as much as the basic layout of your island is pretty simple. However, if you get lost, the map shows landmarks such as major buildings and the location of your fellow island residents and temporary visitors in case you want to talk to someone specific. Rescue service. Can't find your way back home? That's okay. If you need to return to your house, you can use this feature to teleport. That being said, this service costs Nook Miles, which can be put to better use buying furniture, clothing, and DIY recipes. So it's worth trying to find your way back on your own. Island Designer. The Island Designer app gets unlocked well into the game. The Island Designer allows you to make major changes to your island, including redoing its basic layout and changing terrain by adding ramps and bridges. However, you do need to buy permits to get to work, which you can buy from the Nook Stop. You can buy waterscaping, cliff construction, and a ton of other pathways. Passport. The passport is a handy summary of your player character. You can customize your photo, title, and a short bio on your profile so that people who view it can get to know you a little better. Best friend list. The first time you play online, you will unlock the best friend list. This allows you to send best friend requests to players you've interacted with online. This app also lets you chat with your best friends and keep a log of conversations. Nook shopping app. After you buy 100 items at the Nook Stop, you are given the Nook Shopping app that allows you to browse the catalog on the go. You can only buy five things a day as they are sent to your mailbox, and not even I have this app yet. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it and learned something new from it. Make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and you like and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys!